Hello, hi, welcome to Hybrid, and this is Mind Scanners. Now, Mind Scanners is a retrofuturistic management game in which you have to diagnose and treat people who are living in a dystopian society. Basically, you take all sorts of high high tech gear, you use it to go into people's brains, see what the problem is and then hopefully fix them up of course you know you might do some damage in there the point being to make citizens happy and compliant now this is a demo version of mind scanners the full release is planned for um, the early 2021 but uh, you know we had this demo so we're gonna check it out together let's uh new game Mind Scanners is a work of fiction and is intended for entertainment purposes only. If you need guidance related to mental health, please seek a professional. Yes, do not seek Mind Scanners to solve your issues. Any issues, you know, anxiety, the depression, all that. No, no, just go to professionals. All right, the structure. So the structure would pretty much be the state. Greetings, citizen. As you are well aware, your daughter has been placed in quarantine. She has shown signs of a mental abnormality, so we will keep her at the institute for further scanning. Details about her conditions are classified, but we assure you that she is in good hands. We cannot grant your request of seeing her, as only mind sculptors are allowed at the institute. For normality and the mind, the structure. Another message from the structure. Greetings, citizen. You have requested to become a mind scanner. Congratulations, your request is granted. If you work for 30 days as a mind scanner, you will receive the rank of mind sculptor. So I'm guessing that our character is trying to get to see his daughter again, and that's why he wants to become a mind scanner and later on a mind sculptor. Because that, that gives him access to, well, could give him access to his daughter. Along with this letter, you'll find the needed equipment for the job. This includes a radio phone through which you will receive further instructions. For normality and the mind. That's propaganda right there. Okay, let's play. This is the radio, I guess. Greetings, mind scanner. Your duty is to diagnose and treat an um, anomaly citizens of the structure. Okay. For each completed treatment, you will receive 10 capo, K. Okay. If you can't pay maintenance at the end of each day, you will be exiled from the structure and thrown into the outer zone. And let me tell you, you don't want to be in the outer zone. This map shows citizens who have shown signs of strange behavior. Right now, only one citizen needs your attention. Go pay him a visit. Now, before we go, pay Rutger... Hoof, I guess. Hoof, a visit. We can uh, check here. We have a little bit of um, contents, a little bit of information about the game. So your duties are as a uh, as a mind scanner are simple: diagnose and treat um, anomaly citizens of the structure. The map detects citizens with unusual behavior. You locate them, perform mind scan to reveal their personality and insanity. You then take full responsibility for your diagnosis. If you declare the citizen insane, they must undergo treatment and you will be the one who administers that treatment. Alright, so let's, uh, let's see this guy. Rutger is a true nature enthusiast. He knows every tree in the structure and is the chief conservator of Core Forest. Lately he has become more connected with nature, in fact he believes he's an oak tree. Okay, that, that's pretty insane. Let's uh, go see him. You can see pretty much each action will cost us time. This one costs us 55. We have 150 time for one day. Swoosh! Swoosh! This citizen has already been scanned. His insanity amount and insanity types are displayed here. So, insanity amount 3, and these are the types of insanity. Start treatment and remove his insanity before time runs out. Okay, so we don't, we don't have to do a mind scan, we're not gonna experiment. Let's start treatment. Okay, and you can see the time is going, and we're gonna use this one machine that we have right now. And this one can treat uh, only this type of... Uh, Actually, we can treat all types 
Okay, so that that uh, issue went. We have to go here. This one. We have to treat this one. This is kind of like an auto <laughs> auto issue resolver. Let's see this one. Yeah. So this is gonna be super easy for this guy, but we're gonna need different types of equipment to solve the issues of other citizens. All right, treatment complete, and we got 10k. I mean, if this seems super easy, it was super easy. It's gonna get a lot harder after after Rutger. I'm, I'm not an oak tree. No, that's sort of silly, isn't it? I guess I spent too much time with vegetation. I better go visit my friends again. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome, citizen. Good job, mind scanner. No more citizens require your attention today. Get some rest and continue tomorrow. Alright. Oh, so the day is over. End of day one. Maintenance seven? Wow, that's that's expensive to live here, okay. And the next day. New cases, tougher cases. Treated citizens require your attention. Choose a citizen and perform a mind scan to unravel their insanity. Remember, you take full responsibility for the diagnosis. Okay, let's uh, let's go. Okay, so we have Glenn Starr, Jefferson, and Stevie. Let's see who's closest. Okay, Glenn Starr is the closest. It, it, uh, only takes us 50 time to get to him. Alright, let's see. Glenn lost his father at an early age and has since lived with his mother. He's a professional dancer at the Dome, but he has been neglecting his work since his mother passed away a month ago. Well, he might be depressed because he lost, you know, his mom. Alright, let's see. Oh, the mind scanner? I, um, did not expect this. Did mother send for you? Well, come inside. Wait. M who, who? Mother who? All right, let's start the mind scan. So, so during the mind scan, we project certain images to our um, our uh, subject, and he tells us what he sees. And after that, we can determine if he has an issue or not. Okay, doctor. So I'll tell you what I see on the screen. Yeah, exactly. That's right. Hope you can make some sense of it. Let's begin. See this here. Some magical place far away. Everyone is dancing, free from any duties. Hmm. So what does this mean? Dreams of freedom lives in imaginary world or fear of magic. No, I think he dreams of freedom, of duties. Is that right? That's right? Okay. Chains tied to a house. Strange. Hmm. This does not look like chains tied to a house, but you know. Likes to chain up things, breaks chains, feels trapped. Feels trapped, maybe? Okay, alright. The set of the ballet huntsman. Wooden pillars rising and sinking into the wet forest floor. Fabulous. Hunts people now. Sexual through uh, thoughts from art. Afraid of the woods. Hmm. I'm gonna say sexual thoughts from art. Okay. Okay. Glenn thinks his mother is alive and spends all his time caring for her. He is submissive and nervous, great passion for dancing, but can't maintain his work as long as he is trapped and in the clutches of his dead mother. So, what's the diagnosis that we're gonna give him? Insane or sane? I think... Well, I wouldn't really say he's insane, but for, you know, for the purpose of this demo, we're gonna go with insane. Alright. He has orphanophobia. Crazy amount... Well, mental health issue uh, four, and these are the types of mental issues. So, personality type: the guardian, his patient, but uh, uninspired, awaiting treatment. All right. Initializing insanity panel. Okay. Initializing stress bar. So he's stressed during 
the treatment that's gonna be an issue. Initializing personality bar. And that's where, um, well, we're gonna see how much we affect this personality with our treatment. Patient stats initialized, ready for treatment. Oh, well, you're probably right. Mother has always told me I need to be more focused. I know I can do better, doctor. Please show me how. This guy's broken. Your Psychotron treatment devices seem to be unstable. Avoid red areas or the treatment will stress your patient. If you want to develop another device, use the left panel to access the device manager. Okay, so right now we only have this thing. Choose a device that matches the insanity type of your patient. So this device right here, if I can check on that, let's see, treatment devices. This is the Psychotron, right? So this one is pretty, um, pretty straightforward. You can uh, just fire it up and get rid of one type of mental issue. But you're not, you're not just gonna use this on everything. So for example, we also get other machines. Uh, okay, so this one... Okay, so in order to treat this type of issue, we need this. This is the Retina Decoder. Removes up to three in a row of insanity type... Whatever this is. Mirrors the soul of the patient through the eye. So in order to get this device, we need 30 time and zero... Whatever this thing stars. Okay, let's, uh, let's make it. Because we'll be able to use this device with other characters too. Retina Decoder. Okay, so this one, uh, this organic machine mirrors the soul of the patient through this eyes, match the pattern to extract the insanity from the soul. So there's a sequence of three symbols, we, we're gonna see the symbols in the patient's eyes, we're gonna have to match those symbols on the device, click on, uh, on the button, and that's gonna get rid of uh, an issue. Alright, what else? We have this thing. This thing, we need this, the Throatalyzer. So for this one, we need 40 time and two, whatever this thing is. Okay, let's develop it. Throatalyzer. Uh, attached to the larynx, this device transforms the insanity into frequencies and forces them out using the vocal cords of the patient. Okay. All right, so we have, we're gonna use these three devices on our treatment. Let's close this, and yeah, let's start. We don't have a lot of time, so let's start, uh, let's see. Okay. Come on, one, two, three. Oh, sorry. Okay, so that's the first pattern. Okay, nice! That, that went away, we have one more. We're losing time. Well, we'll. Okay, this one. Okay, another one down. You can see his personality goes down too. And now we have. Okay, the time is running out, so I'm not gonna use anything else. Time's up. Well, we didn't have a lot of time, we only had 30. Your workday has ended, your decision requires further treatment. So he's not cured, you know, quote unquote, yet. But we're gonna come back tomorrow and we're gonna use the other device and hopefully cure him without, you know, breaking his personality completely. Hopefully. Alright. Maintenance minus seven. Okay, that's expensive. Very expensive. Day three. Message from the structure. We are keeping your daughter at the institute for a couple of weeks. She is doing well. You have nothing to worry about. She is an interesting subject. You should be proud. Right. For, formali for normality and the mind. Alright. Well, let's, uh, let's get uh, back to Glenn and finish up his treatment. Hello, doctor. Come in and sit down. I was just making tea for mother. Do you want a cup? Um, sure. A fine flavor of lavender. Glenn smiles at his uh, as his stress level lowers. Oh, well, that's good. Less stress. Very good. Okay. So let's start treatment. And we have this. Let's use this one. So for this one, we need to. 
Oh, crap. Okay, so we went too fast. We can't go too fast, but we also have a limited amount of time. Come on. Yeah, we go. Nice. Treatment complete. He's treated. Yes. Ah, a success. Mother is dead. She's not here. Oh, mother. I know I made you proud. I need to move on now. Rest in peace, dear mother. Yes, move on. Move on, Glenn. And, you know, get back to work. Is that... Uh, okay. We're not gonna get some congratulations on anything. Okay, alright, alright, that's fine. Okay, let's go to Jefferson. Short-tempered Jefferson. One of the many parasites of the structure. Ooh, he's been a bad boy. Used to be a car salesman, but nowadays earns maintenance by doing lord knows what. Recently his temper has reached another level. Well, let's see. Because we don't need violent people in the structure, do we? The fuck are you doing here, you little brain sucker? Think you're better than Jefferson? Um... No? Oh, stress. Whatever. This is incredible. First they uh, sent me through hell in my youth, and now they send me a mind scanner to fuck up my brain. To hell with you and the structure. To hell, I say! No, Jefferson, don't say that. You're, you're just troubled. You just need a little mind scan and some treatment. Oh, old Spencer classic. The Black Throttle TS95. Had one of these four bangers for sale once. Wait, uh, 15, 20 years ago? Of course, some rich asshole bought it. Never seen it one since. Never seen one since. Okay, so got tricked, memory loss, love for old cars. I'm gonna say he has a love for old cars. Okay, that's true, nice. Oh, this one? Oh, I don't know. Fluffy and pink? Fuck, this is such a waste of time. I can't do this. Poor eyesight likes fluffy pink things or agitated. I think he's agitated. Annoyed, maybe? Okay, he is agitated. Uh, no, shut it off. That's a... Uh, flesh worm. A flesh worm? Imaginative trauma or demanding. No, that, that sounds like trauma. Why would he say a flesh worm? Has he seen a flesh worm before? With the slightest touch, his anger explodes like a Zignoka, Zignoka bomb. In his 20s, he was sent into the outer zone on a secret mission. Oh, so maybe that's where he saw the flesh worm in the outer zone. Um, to, uh, uh, though these memories were wiped, his trauma stays with him. So he's seen some weird crap in the outer zone and now... That affects him and makes him violent and um, uncontrollable. Okay, I'm gonna say he's insane. Right. He's an outer zoniac. Ooh. Crazy amount seven. Personality type. The captain, carefree, impatient. Okay. So we're gonna have to. We're gonna have to get a new device for that. What? Unbelievable. Un fucking believable. Sure thing, feel free to drill my brain, you piece of shit. I will kill you, fucking asshole. Oh, chillax. Chillax, Jefferson. He's very, very, very upset. Alright. So he has these three types of uh, mental issues. So for this one. Okay, let's see for this one. Can you get another device? This. The reflector removes up to three in a row of insanity type, whatever that is. It deciphers and disintegrates thoughts. Okay, unfortunately we can't get this one because we don't have the, the required resources. So I guess we're just gonna use what we have right now. These three. Okay. Alright. Okay, dude. Come on. 
Ah, oh, jeez, I missed the last one. Okay. Yes, chillax. Oh, wrong device, sorry. Okay, he's gonna have to... Come on, we don't have a lot of time. Alright, okay, that's better. Let's use this one. Uh, wait, which one? This? Oh, what the hell? Uh, no. No, not that one. Oh, crap. Okay, didn't have any time. Time's up. God damn it. Ah, since it requires further treatment. Yeah, we didn't, we didn't have enough time. There's so much stuff to do. It's hard to, you know. Okay. It's a hard job treating these people. Okay, let's go. You receive a letter from Glenn. Okay. Dear doctor, thank you so much. Here are two tickets for Mountains Beyond, my upcoming show at the Sphere. Oh, nice. Good to see that he's... Um... Okay, Jefferson's a little calmer. So, okay, so we can either go back to Jefferson and treat him, or we can go to Stevie. Uh, I'm gonna go to Stevie, because if we get more resources, we could get a device that will actually help Jefferson too. Okay, let's go to Stevie. Now, Stevie has a mechanical brain implant. The implant is suspected to be illegally modified by himself, and according to his co-workers, he has caused, this has caused him to misbehave lately. Okay. Let's check him out. Yeah, this is an insult. You don't need to scare my mind. My brain is a hundred percent compressed knowledge. It will blow your uh, your petty machines to pieces. So just just relax, Stevie. Relax. Breathe. What do you see? Yeah, looks like Abigail, Mike's wife. Dumb as bricks. I couldn't stand it. Hmm, animosity towards his ex-wife, missing loved one, it doesn't sound like that, angry at walls, despise, okay, I think he despises stupidity. Okay, good. Uh, a beautiful machine, giving out orders to officials, I hope this will happen someday. Let's see, character trait, artistic, technocrat, fast food machine? No, technocrat. Right. Uh, this reminds me of this dude who blew his head off trying to connect his data goggles to an TX-41. <laughs> Experimental lacks empathy, suffered head trauma. Hmm. I mean, that that to me sounds like he lacks, an, lacks, lacks any empathy to his, uh, for his fellow man. Okay. Minds can complete. Highly intelligent, disrespectful, and lacks empathy towards other people with lower IQ. Stevie has an uncontrollable love for machines, which has developed into a desire for domination using technology. Hmm. Well, that's very dangerous, so I'm gonna label him insane. He has a Cupid... He has Cupid Technica. Amount 10. Jesus, okay. Uh, Alright. Awaited treatment. Oh, well, let's see. So... Heh, <laughs> you and your machines are just piles of junk. Treat me for what? For being smarter than you? Just try me, Shrinky. Hmm, okay. So do... Okay, I don't have what it needs. Well, what I need for the mind scan. I need this device, but I can't buy it. So... What can I do? Locked, locked. All oh, these are locked. Hmm. Yeah. Reflect. I want to get the reflector. Okay. Let's uh, let's just try to treat what we can. Okay. Let's try this one. As fast as possible without breaking it. Come on.
Come on. There we go. Isn't that better, Stevie? Yes, much better, Stevie, yes. There we go, Stevie. You're gonna feel so much better. Okay, can I get another thing? No, I can't get any. Okay. Alright, let's use... Oh, I can still use this one. Easy, easy. Come on. I'm not gonna finish his treatment today, but... There we go. That's a lot lower level of sanity. Okay. Come on. Come on. I want to finish with this one. Come on. There we go. There we go, Steve. Isn't that better? Isn't that so much better, Stevie? Wrong device. Let's see if I can use this one. Uh, oh, wait. Um, this. Okay. But then, wait. But how would I... Okay. Yeah, I need, I need a different device. But I can buy it now. I hope. Uh, alright, alright, we, we, you know, we, th that was still progress, that was progress, I mean, okay, we don't have a lot of money left, but tomorrow we are going to treat at least one person. Today's news, five members of Moonrise were caught selling stolen goods in Sector 9, justice will be served. Damn, okay. Hmm, Steve is pretty stressed. Alright, let's buy... This, that's what I need. I need a reflector to get rid of this. Okay, let's develop. Okay, so the reflector erase thoughts or and keep thoughts. Okay, so we locate thoughts with the sliders and we then erase them or keep them. All right, let's um, uh, let's go to let's go to Stevie because he has less issues. To deal with lower insanity level. Hey, Shwinky, let's test your intelligence. What's the name of the chip that powers the CX88 inside data goggles? I'm gonna ignore him. Ignore him. Hmm. The smile on Stevie's no, oh, sorry, the smile on Stevie's face washes away. He seems annoyed. Really? Ah, oh, really? You're annoyed? It's okay, dude. You're gonna feel so much better after this. Okay, let's use this thing. Let's find... Misery! Okay, see, we found the word misery. Let's erase the misery. Nice. And we have one more thing to find. Let's see. Patience. I mean, one patience. So let's keep this one. Agony. We don't like agony. Erase. And you're cured, Stevie! Just like that, like magic. Treatment complete. Nice. It must evolve by the rules of the structure to normality and the mind. Yeah, Stevie. I forgot to mention a minor side effect of your treatments. They sort of reduce the personality of your patients. Once the personality is completely removed, it can never be recovered. But no worries, you'll get paid either way. Their insanity level is first priority. It must be removed at any cost. So th this is gonna be on you, right? So you're gonna have to make decisions, at least in the full release of minds, uh, mind scanners. You're gonna have to decide if you're gonna label someone insane or not, and how much uh, how you use your uh, machines on him, because you don't want them to lose their personality necessarily, right? Or maybe you do. I mean, Jefferson here is kind of like a kind of a prick, but okay, we're gonna help him now. You again? Fuck's sake. Yes, yes, Jefferson, we need to start treatment. Yes, let's see. 
come on. Oh, confusion. Let's erase this one. There we go. Isn't that better? Again, confusion. Okay, erase. Okay, we have one more thing to do. Yeah, we don't have enough time. It's okay. It's okay. Tomorrow, Jefferson's gonna be all fine again. And you can see his personality has decreased. I mean... I mean, okay, you know what? In this case, I don't really... You know, feel bad about this. Because Jefferson is... Not the best person. Definitely not the best person. Day 6. A message? Do not listen to the structure. You need to take care of your patients. Do not remove their personality. This is a secret message. It will evaporate after reading. Break the structure. Moonrise. So are the Moonrise some sort of... Some sort of... Uh, organization against the structure? Huh. Okay. Let's see, can I develop... Develop this? Okay, so this one I can't develop because it's too expensive. It's probably not going to be in the demo. Um, like, usable in the demo. So let's just go to... Jefferson and finish his treatment, right? He's not going to like it. Again! Stop bothering me, asshole! Sorry, Jefferson. You need your treatment. Okay. Yes, this monstrosity is gonna help you. Shut up. Come on. Just one more. And you're gonna be just fine after this. There we go, Jefferson. How you feel now, buddy? Uh, I must say, my heart does feel a bit lighter. A uh, lighter, in fact. I've been way too harsh, haven't I? There's no point in being grumpy. <laughs> I'm so happy I could kiss you, Doc. Thank you so much. See? He's a changed man. I mean, we pretty much raised most of his personality, but... Eh. You know. Greetings, mind scanner. Good job. You removed all insanity within this sector of the structure. This is the end of the day. Oh, okay. We look forward to your return in the full game, which is available for wishlisting on Steam right now for normality and the mind. All right, so everyone, that was the demo version of Mind Scanners. It's, um, I mean, you can see the game is quite distinct in terms of its visuals, in terms of its mechanics. It's really interesting. It's gonna have probably a lot of, um, you know, tough choices that you're gonna have to make uh, throughout the game in order to either, you know, go with the structure and, and continue that because you do want to see your daughter again, so, and your daughter is, is under the control and under the so-called care of the structure, so you want to uh, go up in ranks in the structure, but at the same time you have an issue, probably, maybe, maybe you do have, with uh, the way that they conduct things and the way that they erase personality traits from people that are being treated. So, you know, maybe you decide to not treat them and decide that they're not insane, but that might have issues and that might make you lose favor with the structure, and who knows, maybe you'll never see your daughter again. So, tough choices, we'll have to see how those go in the full release, which is coming early 2021. You can see the link in the description below if you want to wishlist mind uh, scanners. And uh, yeah, that was it everyone, that was the demo version. Thanks so much for watching, if you like this video, and you know, me poking through people's minds, and then for the most part fixing them, then um, you know, you can like this video, check out uh, the, back, uh, the back catalog, on uh, my channels on YouTube, youtube.com slash hybrid and bitch.com slash hybrid Subscribe on both channels if you want to see all the cool games that I cover, most indie games by the way. And uh, after that, please take just half a minute to see the ways through which you can support me so I can continue doing gaming coverage for a very long time. You can either give me a direct donation through PayPal or uh, there's a PayPal link in the description below of course, or you can support me with the purchases that you make 
on the Epic Games Store, the Humble Store, Fanatical. All you have to do in those cases is either use an affiliate link or a creator tag. They're in the description below. Use those whenever you want to make a purchase from those sites. And when you do that, you don't pay anything extra for the stuff that you buy. You just tell that store to send me a small percentage of the money you spend there. Last but not least, another great way to help out without actually having to pay anything out of pocket is to download and try out the Brave Browser. Now the Brave Browser is an open source privacy focused browser that's based on Chromium. It has a built in ad blocker, it blocks trackers, it blocks fingerprinting methods. It's really cool, I've been using it for more than a year and a half now. Um, I, I use it every day, I like it, I recommend it. Just give it a go. Try it, download it through the referral link in the description below, install it. If you end up using it for at least a month, then I will get a small crypto reward from the Brave software team. Now, if you already use the Brave browser, then you can uh, get bats through it, basic attention tokens, and you can uh, send those bats over as tips on any video of mine on YouTube or on any post that I make on Twitter. Of course, on Twitter, you can follow me at Cryptic Hybrid. Uh, over there, I post when I go live, when I. Uh, uh, when I post uh, videos and of course I also share stuff about new mostly new games that are uh, coming out so definitely follow me there let's get to over 1000 followers and uh, yeah that was it everyone thanks so much for watching careful with the mind because the mind is a terrible thing to waste and, and until the next time we see each other have an awesome day